I'm home, eat it, then I'm hungry. Oh, hello, Lord. <laughs> Jeez, I feel like I'm being mugged here. Oh. <laughs> Just kiss me nice, huh? Did you have a nice day? No, I had a lousy day. That's why I'm looking forward to a beautiful dinner. What have we got tonight? Chicken. I hate it. We had it roasted on Tuesday. Wednesday, we had it creamed. Thursday, you come back hiding in a salad. Well, tonight, we're gonna have croquettes. I hope it's making its farewell appearance here. <laughs> that chick has been doing more things dead than it ever's on the lawn. <laughs> All right, get it on, get it on, Colonel Sanders. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Get back here. What's all this? Chain letters. Chain letters? Yeah. Listen to this. According to St. Timothy of Nicaragua, who, who, <laughs> who originated this chain, if you send out 20 copies to friends by midnight tonight, good luck will visit you within four days. But if you don't send out the letters, ill fortune will move into your home. The meathead just moved out of here. <laughs> Come on, don't tell me you believe in that junk. You want to hear what happened to Carl Schultz when he broke the chain? No, I don't want to hear what happened to Carl Schultz. Carl Schultz, oh, an animal trainer in the Berlin Zoo, broke the chain, and two days later, he got eaten by a tiger. <laughs> now, Archie, that's bad luck. <laughs> Well, for Schultz, not for the tiger. Do you want to hear what happened to my Uncle Walter when he broke a chain letter? Don't tell me. Uncle Walter lived in San Francisco. She tells on, me anyway. On, on top of a hill. And one day, he tripped over his little dog, and he broke his hip. So when the ambulance came, and they wheeled Uncle Walter out on a stretcher and put him in the back, they forgot to call Close the door. So when the ambulance... <laughs> Uncle Walter rolled down the back, down the hill, across Fisherman's Wharf, and into the bay. <laughs> Just Mr. Ferry, huh? He was the fourth uncle in my family that died an unusual death. But he was the only one that got buried at sea. Uh, oh, that was nice. What are you trying to tell me, Edith, that Walter wouldn't have drowned it if he had sent out 20 chain letters? Well, he was alive before he didn't send them out. I'm surprised that a woman with all your education is being so superstitious. Oh, I am. I just don't believe in taking chances. Like when we was kids and we used to walk on the sidewalk, we'd say, step on a crack, break your mother's back. So I was always very careful and never stepped on a crack. But that is superstitious. No, it ain't. I just love my mother. <laughs> And she lived to be 78, and she never had no trouble with her back. <laughs> Knock wood. What are you knocking wood for? Nobody feels back trouble in the ground. <laughs> I've been stepping on cracks all my life, Edith. When my mother died, she was just as healthy as your dead mother. <laughs> Chain letters is only sent out to dummies. This one came for you. <laughs> well, let me show you what I'm gonna do with this here one right now. Oh, it's not a bad shot for a white guy. 